All right, today on the shooting table, I got some 10 millimeter fun um, with the EAA Witness Hunter um, 10 millimeter long slide. So I'll, uh, I'll show you about it real quick first, a few little things, and then we're gonna go ahead and shoot it up. Um, so first off, this is um, a six inch from Tank Folio. This is a uh, obviously a 10 millimeter. They call it the Wit Witness Hunter. Um, kind of a CZ clone that most EAA's done for a long time. They do it very well. Um, this is, I don't want to put it, single action only. Um, holes on the side. It's pre-trapped, tapped. Um, so if you want to put a optic mount on it for like a Seymour sight, um, you can. You got to buy that separately, of course. Um, I'll show you what's in the case when I get back. It comes in a nice, solid case. Nice thick foam with a lock on it also, which is pretty nice. Um, the gun itself comes factory with uh, some wooden um, grips that say tank folio on the side. And I've got, I've got heaning aluminum grips on it. They're flat. There's no uh, texturing to them. Um, but they're a little thinner. So for my smaller hands, they seem to fit well for me. Um, it's got adjustable windage and elevation rear sights, blacked out um, style front sight or rear sight. And then the front, it'll either come on the gun when you buy it factory it'll have just a blacked out sight just a black dot or in the package um, you can have this red optic sight that you can add um, just put it on really simple it's got a set screw here slide it out slide the new one in and you're good to go and i like the fiber optic sight better so like i said before it's single action only it's got thumb safety on it um it's got a beautiful trigger um it's uh of course it's clear i'll show you the trigger here it's got very little bit of take up little creep and then a nice break but it's, it's super light um, extended mag release um, I mean this gun's made for hunting um, I'm not much of a hunter in fact I've never hunted before but this gun will make you want to hunt because um, shooting 10 millimeter is just a, it's a blast you can the all steel frame on this really handles the recoil very well um, so you if you're a reloader like I am you can really crank up your loads um, and get them flying out of this gun and you're not going to have much recoil out of it so uh, what else can i say there's not too much else i'll say about it um i don't have reloads yet um i'm working on some loads um i've got some seller and bellet however the hell you say it 180 grain fmj rounds that we're going to shoot through it today and uh see if we can hit anything down there on the steel plates and uh kind of show you the recoil of it Go ahead and get her hot. I'll we'll go ahead and put the safety on. Got nice front slide serration, so I help you for uh, want to cock up here, I guess. Uh, it's got nice aggressive front texturing um, or checkering, as you want to say. So this is this is really aggressive. Um, it's a high lines per inch. I can't tell you offhand which one it is. Um, 24 maybe, but it, it's really aggressive. So it really get a good bite uh, when you're shooting it. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot this other mag real quick. Um, the gun pretty much shoots itself. That six inch barrel in this all steel frame really helps uh, with the recoil. Um, me being as small and as weak as I am, I handle it pretty well. Um, we'll shoot it one handed a little bit and uh, see what kind of recoil we get out of it. So, uh, so aggressive it kind of it chews your hand up a little bit uh, 
when, you, when you're gripping so tight. Um, this is a great option if you're looking for a 10 millimeter. I mean, you got, for your six inch lines, I mean, you got the Remington uh, 1911 Hunter, uh, which is a fine gun. Um, you're looking at about 1,000 to 1,100 price range for this, um, which I think is worth it if you're looking for this kind of 10 millimeter. Um, you know, you could slap a sight on there, it go out. Um, this is an easily a 50 to 100 yard gun. You can probably pull some pretty good groups if you're a reloader. Um, I've hit it, that orange plate at about 80 to 100 from back here. Um, so I know it can be done. I, I can't wait to load up some of my own and uh, see what kind of groups I can get out of them. Uh, let's see what else I can do. Let me, uh, let me load up a few more in this mag. We'll shoot it again. And then I'll let you go. I just wanted to show you, talk about one of my new pickups. The, uh, the original grips that are on it are pretty nice too. They're, uh, like I said, wooden grips and they have checkering on the side or texture, um, but they're a little wider. So like I said, for my hands, um, I like these aluminum grips better. And that's what came with the gun when I bought it used. Um, I put both on and I just, wood against that all black to me doesn't look as appealing as the all black that, like this does Let's see what we got go ahead and do one more let's go ahead and shoot it again back up to the table here. So as you can see, that's a 10 inch gong, about 35 yards maybe. Um, and it was pretty darn easy. Um, it's kind of chilly out here, so I'm shaking around a little bit or I could have hit that a lot more. Um, but as you can see, if you're shooting a deer, even going out 50 to 100 yards, you're going to be able to hit it. Um, all right, well, that's about all I have. Uh, for that gun um, thank you all for watching um, we're gonna be doing a lot more videos out here on the range instead of the disassembly videos uh, like I said in my prior video um, so like and subscribe and we'll see you next time